Today is 24 January 2019. This is the seven years old female Shizu Cross Mantis. This dog is spayed and uh, the complaint was what? What was the complaint? Came in? Uh, itchy, itchy, the whole body. Itchiness in the whole body, okay. What happened was the last two or three years the dog developed body itch and especially the paws uh, and, and she will keep biting the paws until they bleed. The whole paw is bleeding and uh, so the owner has to buy a very big e collar to prevent her from biting the paws. This this collar is quite good actually uh, because it's quite soft. Now we, we check for bacteria, fungus and mice. So this was treated and finally we do an allergy test. Now this allergy report you can see here uh, in Singapore we send it to overseas United States and they come back with a report now this allergy report is important for dogs that have skin itchiness for a long time not responding to treatment uh, with the usual drugs now you can see this classified under a few grasses weeds trees fungi Epidermis, house dust, foods, indoor, the insects, insects fleas, fleas Staphylococcus, and Malaysia. Here, these are yeast. Huh? Okay, so. Many vets, they didn't think of doing an allergy report. Uh, but in dogs with very serious, long-standing skin diseases, it's best to do an allergy report. And uh, instead of recommending them hypoallergenic dog food, which may not be effective. So from this report, we can see, in this dog, we can see that the dog is allergic to quite a few things. But the important thing is this, huh? the corn and the wheat, the, the turkey, and uh, this is the brewer's yeast, peas, and of course beef and chicken. Now chicken is found very commonly in dog food, dry dog food, and even in Singapore the feeding, huh? the food. So. The, the thing to avoid is chicken, beef, has a meat, huh? but you can see this dog can take pork, venison, eggs, milk, soya bean. So if the owner can just switch to pork, eggs and rice, let's say, huh? mixed with carrots, tomatoes, carrots, and uh, and in most cases, the dog will be free from the itchiness, the allergies. This, this is what I recommend to the owner. There should be no dog treats. Although the owner bought some kangaroo dog treats. So it's best not to give anything else for three months. And many owners find that it's very successful in, in the, the allergies. Now in this case, the allergy actually is the it's shown in the paws. Huh? It keeps on licking until it bleeds. You can see the dog really doesn't like me to touch the paws. The four paws. Huh? And uh, you can see the back ones also. The back paws. And even the tail biting. Tail biting. Tail biting normally it, it is the inner sac, but we have expressed it already. There is nothing there. But you can see the paw is really very itchy, including the legs. But the whole, the under part of the body, let's see, the under part of the body is not so bad. Now, for the starting, the owner has to, to be given Apocal first. Apocal is, is one of those uh, immunosuppressants which should not be given in the presence of infection. So we have to treat the infection first. Now this one, the owner has to give for 
let's say 12 weeks and uh, this will relieve the inflammation but it's not a steroid so so it's not as bad as steroids because steroids cause the dog to be very thirsty and to pee a lot which the owner doesn't like and also it uh, suppresses the immune system so what we should try is this two this one apropel antibiotics anti-yeast medication and washes and that, that there may be some mites as well so we will give a mite wash mite wash for the first two weeks then uh, after that the, the dog should be on this uh, pork rice and uh, eggs diet plus carrots and some veggies and we will see for a trial of two months without the dog eating anything else now this dog is supposed to be allergic to human hair which is quite unavoidable because human hair I mean there's there's an owner there human hair there, human epidermis so this one we, we may have to tell the owner try not to to handle the dog too much and so luckily it's not allergic to house mites because some dogs are allergic to house dust the mite dust this one is not allergic so we will, we will do as uh, planned and uh, we will review the case four weeks later now the, the problem with, with many owners they don't come back for review so we don't really know whether it's fully recovered or not now in, in some cases the owner will say that it's, it's already uh, recovering so no need to come for review so there is another uh, situation where the dog does not fully recover because the owner does not come back for the monthly review so in this case the owner didn't come back when he saw that the paws were much better on apoquel and of course medications then uh, soon the dog started to lick and bite the paws again that's why he came back here so it's best to do regular review monthly until the dog has fully recovered normally it takes about two or three monthly reviews it's in severe long-standing cases but uh, you can see the body is okay but you see the dog is very thin huh? the dog is not putting on weight and uh, so the owner has really some problems with feeding as well. He's buying commercial and also commercial lamb food, the dry ones, and also lamb, some lamb meat from some suppliers online. Now, lamb, the dog is not allergic to lamb, but then we need about two to three months to know whether it's effective or not. So, on feeding the, the lamb food, the dry food, the dog starts to have these allergies biting the paws again, that's why you came here. So there are many many reasons that the dog owner should come to the vet every month for about one or two times before the whole issue can be resolved, especially if it's allergies. Allergies can be from the environment and from the food and even from the human and the house dust so even fr on the, from the grass as well although according to here now according to here the grasses but these are not the grasses in Singapore the dogs is not allergic to all these grasses huh? so the best is to avoid taking the dog out to the grass area but sometimes the owner has to do it because the, the dog has to to pee and poo now as far as the weeds are concerned these are normally not in Singapore these are more overseas eh? probably American and uh, this report you see look at the trees eh? we, we don't have all these trees here 